Howdy folks, Farmer Brad 06 here, and this is the last installment of Pipe Smoking for Dummies. This <coughs> is the pack and light and enjoy segment of the three play. What we have here is my least favorite pipe. But we're going to smoke it today. We're going to give it a chance. It is a spool. I don't know what the hell it is by Missouri Meerschaum. The reason why it's my least favorite is the stem that came with it. First time I smoked it, after that it was cattywampus. And I tried to make it... It was loose fitting. And I tried to make it fit. And try to stretch it out, heat it up, do all that. And shit, never worked. It sucked. So then I stuffed one of these new bits that I had that I ordered and now she works at least she don't flop around but anyway this is how I pack and light okay cool I see my lighter right here we we'll get all situated we we'll just spur the moment first things first you fix it and enjoy your pipe and you do all that cool down it's the ritual so grab whatever cold beverage you're into and enjoy yourself to start it out it could be tea it could be jack and coke it could be coarse light like it is for me anyhow grab your pipe i got some bulk cult hibiscus or abacus however you say it and then what i like to do we're going to try to do this all weird. Is I grab a little pinch at a time. And I'm making a freaking mess. Do a couple little pinches. A couple little pinches. Just to where it's loose fitting up to the top of the bowl. And then I take, I have a heavy tamper. But I let it. The tamper itself, do the weight, moderate pressure, or not even moderate, light pressure. And then I like to do another pinch, fill it up to the brim, a little bit exceeding the brim. Grab the tamper, a little a hair more pressure. And what I've, I've learned over the, the first time I ever did this, like, I was packing as much tobacco in there as I could, and that is wrong. Less is more. You end up with more flavor, you end up with more enjoyment out of it. It actually smokes longer because of the fact, oh, after that, when you pinch it, pack it down a little bit. I, uh, a lot of guys do three finger, or three catches, or three pinches, the father, or the hand of the, I almost said father, son, and the Holy Spirit, but no. Um, a hand of a child, a hand of a mother, and then a hand of a father. But I kind of do a rendition of it. And then I go and I fill it to the brim. And the last pack, I give it a good, good little tamping. And I like to keep it about... I don't know, an eighth of an inch from the top. But anyway, back to it. Less is more. I used to freaking just cram the shit out of it. and I ended up on my... It doesn't ever burn down to the bottom. A good pipe for me is whenever... All I gotta do is just barely use a little spoon on the tamping tool or whatever. And scrape out a little bit of the thing and it's just ash there's no tobacco unburnt tobacco and whenever I was starting out there was tons of unburnt tobacco and before I light it give it a good good little puff make sure you got airflow They say it should be the, the, the consistency of sucking through a straw. Uh, no. 
I would say consistency of sucking through a straw on a milkshake that's sat out for a while. It's it's not whenever you first got that milkshake and you're like it's uh it's smooth, but there is resistance there. And you find the tobacco in the back of your throat. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to upload this video. And then, for the light, we're going to get all deep down in here like, and then you go, and just... Barely graze the top of it. Let the flame suck into it. Don't down into it because you end up burning off the tobacco. You end up burning off the flavor. And then I'll puff that first light. until it goes out. Well, this one rekindled itself. And then, just a slight tamp. Don't cram it, don't do anything. And remember we started out with an eighth of an inch gap. Now we're, we're about to three sixteenths to a quarter on the gap. Between the top of the bowl and down. And then, Excuse me. Give it a another glance on that. Mm. Now you sit back. reflect on your day and enjoy periodically you will have to tamp and with a corn cob I've noticed that you don't have to tamp near as much as with a uh, a briar uh, I try not to and then Also, say say it's not smoking as much anymore. Go through and uh, rather than relighting your pipe, you can do the old two finger jobber and just cover it up. This thing's super lit already, so it burned my fingers. And just allow a little bit of airflow in there, and you'll stoke that flame. It's kind of like uh, on a wood wood burning stove. You cut off the air a little bit, and then the the flame will kick back up again. You got to limit it. And that's about it. I might have to dust this thing off a little bit more. She's good smoke. Um, that, that is how to light or pack and light and uh, enjoy your pipe. After you bought your packy, you bought your pipe, and you're ready to go now. Um, well, we got something bonus to show you guys. Today, I'm kind of limited on funds. Well, I needed a set of hay hooks. So I built some.
You just wanted to show that off. Show them kind of cool. Like right now, it's starting to go a little bit. So it would go. Limit your tamping. So anyway, that's what's going on. That's all that. Thank you all for tuning in for my third part of this series. And we will go back to just goofing off after this. Alright, take care now.